Welcome to the Artist Viral Network. My name's Liana Lang. Um, Nigel Grimmer and I started this new Instagram channel to post videos of artists talking about what they're reading during the lockdown. We're particularly interested to know what people go to in their time of crisis, but also how living largely in the imagination of others is affecting their ideas, perhaps uh, in due course the work they're making, um, as they're not having their own experiences and journeys and travels and encounters, those of, uh, of others um, bec become uh, more important and perhaps fill that space. Um, we um, also will post works by those artists and we hope that you'll follow us and that you might get some ideas for your own reading. Um, I've chosen Ian Sinclair, A Day's Walk Around the Ginger Line, London Overground. Um, a walk around the bone rich soil of London. I'm particularly interested in this book right now because I can't walk around London and it seems a vicarious pleasure to do so with him. Also, it sometimes takes a, a lockdown to finish an entire um, Sinclair book. I'm going to read you a short passage um, from the chapter, The Experience of Light. After our orbital circuit was completed, I had to come back. In yellow twilight, under puddles of artificial light, we tried to align the view from the bridge on Old Oak Lane with Kossoff's monumental charcoal drawings of Willesden Junction from 1962. But the grunge nocturnes of the day's walk with Andrew Cutting were infected by the rogue filmmaker's enthusiasm for Tarkovsky's stalker and the Amazonian madness of Werner Herzog. He started doing the voices. The railway was a jungle and the birds and trees screamed with pain. The gantries and signal poles punctuating Kossoff's drawings became black Tyburns, hoists for containers of radioactive cargoes. Andrew's riffs absorbed a post-apocalyptic geometry of unexplained sheds and sidings. The perimeter fence of the station at Wilsden Junction defines the point of transit from road use to a sunken railside community. Passengers dissolve on concrete ramps and metal-sided walkways. Recorded announcements in no recognizable language are muffled by the acrid smoke of evening. Night cancels time. <laughs>